One of the more interesting things about insulin resistance and metabolic function in the body is the relationship that salt can play in this. So we've been told, of course, for decades that we need to eat less salt because if we eat too much, we're going to have high blood pressure and we'll die from heart disease. Well, one of the greatest predictors of heart disease is insulin resistance. So it makes sense to wonder what happens to insulin resistance when we restrict salt. Well, wouldn't you know it, we got it all wrong. There is uh, abundant, at this point, clinical studies to show that when we cut salt too much, it actually increases insulin and LDL cholesterol, as much as that may matter or not, but it increases insulin and that stimulates more insulin resistance. This is because insulin has a water retaining effect. That's one of the reasons why the opposite is true. If someone has high blood pressure and high insulin, they adopt a low carbohydrate diet, which brings down the insulin, that brings down the water retention. In other words, the kidneys start dumping excess water more readily. And then as the water is going down or the volume of the blood, the pressure follows it and someone's blood pressure will go down. Now, let's flip back to the purpose of this, which is that when we restrict salt too much, because salt is such a molecule of life in the body, it is so essential, we, the, the body becomes desperate to retain whatever salt that it can, and water will stay with the salt. So we start um, cutting out salt in the diet because we've been told to. That actually, again, will dramatically increase insulin, which is causing insulin resistance. And that's because insulin can increase the level of a hormone called aldosterone. So higher insulin means higher aldosterone. And when aldosterone goes up, it will try to tell the kidneys to retain whatever salt that is in the body already, just because we're taking in so little. Now, what's the overall takeaway from this? One could be that if you are struggling with insulin resistance, despite the best ch uh, dietary changes and lifestyle changes you may be making, this sounds a little paradoxical, but perhaps there is some reason to be sure you're eating enough salt. Again, the evidence is pretty clear. If you cut salt, you stimulate more insulin, and that can drive insulin resistance.